dimensions, the Mitgerlands, past the Scala Patterson, uh, the Macbeth's uh, special MLK tribute by jazz artist Terence Young, the Macduffies out of Bennettsville. Is that right? The legendary Southern Six. Sonny Brown and Experience, Pastor Sherrod Coleman and Chosen. This is going to be held at Bethlehem Baptist Church Family Life Center, 1037 Eastman Street, Columbia. That's going to be the LLK uh, Musical Celebration, Monday, January the 16th, 2023. Flossie Boy Johnson is going to be. And they're looking for you to come out. Uh, Regina Gibson is going to be there. Pastor Alice Williams Ellison. These will receive the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Humanitarian Award. Thank you so much. All right. We're coming to the last group on the service this evening. Amen. None other than Roy and the Revelation out of Hopkins, South Carolina. Out of Hopkins, South Carolina. Let everybody say amen. 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 Say amen again. Amen. Everybody, let's give God one big round of applause. The pastor of this beautiful church, my father. To my brother and sisters, to Jones family, to all of my family in this building, I think y'all deserve one big round of applause. I told my mom was coming at the time. I didn't know that it was going to be late until one o'clock till later. And the boys sang and played at church, but I gave my mom my word that I was coming. So. Jojo came and go, we're gonna sing these two songs with these tracks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sing them. And if y'all know the songs, I want you to clap your hands. We're not gonna sing along. But if you go ahead and start the track, when the track start, we're gonna start singing. Y'all can clap those hands. But the first song we're gonna sing, it says, Stand by me. I know that everybody in here needs the Lord to stand by me. And the second song is a song that we just started singing that I believe that everybody testimony should be that says, I still got joy. Is there anybody in here that still got joy? If you still got joy, then let me hear you make some kind of noise right now. So what I, I'm probably gonna have to run back there. You can do this. Don't even come up there and do it right quick. You got it. Alright, so you can turn it up then, okay? Just turn it up a little bit for us. Everybody, come on and clap those hands. I don't care where you are, if God's been real good to you. Everybody, wherever you are, you can get out of your seat and clap those hands. You can clap just a little bit louder. Thank you. 
We would like to thank each and every one of you for coming to be a part of this service this evening. Amen. And as I said in the last few years, we were really skeptical about trying to have it. And a lot of things right now you're still kind of slow about doing it because you still are here. It, it's not as you're not as alarmed right now about the coronavirus because they're not talking about it on the news. But it's still out there. It's still out there. So that's why we have to be so careful. So we ask that you pray for us. And I'm going to be praying for you that the Lord would take care of us all in a special way. Just before we go home, Stand up, Brother Levan. But he was saying, my mind went back to probably 25, maybe 30 years ago. But he was singing about when he was sick. And I thought, I said, now some of these people might not realize this was a sick man one time. I went to the hospital to see him at Richmond. We were all working at Fort Jackson at the time together. And he became very ill. Desperately ill. When he became ill, they had to give him treatments and all of his hair came out. And when it came back, it was as fine as baby hair. Well, yes, it was. And he said he wanted to keep it. <laughs> but he was a very sick man. And that's been how long ago? About, about 33 years? 1988. I don't mean a headache or a knee ache or something like that. He was a sick man. They gave him chemo or radiation or something. Chemo. The tough kind. But God brought him through. You know, sometimes you see a person up singing or you see a person up testifying, you don't know what behind that. But that young man went through something when the enemy put his hands on him. But God said, not now. Not now. And I thank the Lord for it. And when I saw him up there singing, And I praise God for how he brought it through. Come on, let's give God a hand. Is everybody happy? Showing up happy? Ms. Coleman, we're glad to see you tonight, today. Glad that you could make it down here. And she told me yesterday, she said, I'm glad it's one o'clock. I can leave straight from my church and come straight on down there. When I leave there, I go straight on back home. Get off the road before it's dark. We thank God for all of you coming. Let us stand. Thank you, Lord. Lord, our Father in heaven, we bless your name. For you're so high and holy. And oh, God, you're so meek and lovely. We bless you, dear Master, for being the God that you are. Too wise to make mistakes. You're too just to do anything wrong. And everything you do, Lord, you do it well. We ask you now, Father, as we depart from the sanctuary, give us traveling mercy. Help us, dear Master, to travel safe after we reach our destination. Help us find everything in order. God, take care of us. 
help us to know the reason for the season. Help us, our Father, to celebrate it in the right manner. Help us, dear Master, to not allow the commercial part of celebrating your birth to ride us down. And now the grace of our Lord Jesus, the communion of his Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide with us, now henceforth and forevermore. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. God bless you. And we wish that you all have a Merry Christmas. And if I don't see you anymore, I pray that you will have a happy